Somebody was asking me if I was using Facebook to create this clip and I'm going to run it and we can see different kinds of facial expressions and I understand why the person was asking me if I was using Facebook but no I'm not using a plugin that's for the later version of iClone 7 which I don't have yet but I'm gonna open iClone 6 and iClone 7 and I'm gonna show you the difference between the two and it's not the face wear but the face key I'll be right back okay here we are in iClone 6 and you select your character the right panel I have the character selected and we're gonna go to the content tab which is where you find all these icons over here and I'm gonna select the animation icon on the custom tab and the motion plus library and I create a folder which is the facial animation IC6 motions okay now on the right hand panel you're gonna go to the second icon which is the animation icon you're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna open the face key as you can see the face key for icon 6 is very basic you just select the muscle of the face and uh, let's say the mouth in this case with the mouth selected and then you're going to press the right button of your mouse and you're going to move it up or down without depressing the button or left or right because it's going to give you different choices when you go up or down or left or right sometimes it will give you more than one choice or just one choice so like if you do that um, let's say I'll leave it as it is right, right there I'm going to open the timeline, you can open the timeline right here on this little icon square at the bottom on the right hand the corner or you can select one of these icons at the top for movement and right click on your mouse and select the timeline once you open the timeline make sure your character was selected so it will open your character and then you press the arrow right here and you go to the expression right here you select the expression and it's going to open that bar for you and I'm going to save this expression in the collect clip I'm going to give it 15 frames you left click on your button of your mouse and drag it all the way to the left and right click on it you go to the add motion plus to library and you're going to deselect everything but the facial animation okay you go okay and okay funny face right here so funny face too I'm going to wait until it saves that but I'm going to go to icon 7 and I'm going to do the same select the character go to the animation tab or the animation icon on the right hand panel all the way down to the face key and as you can see the face key over here in comparison to icon 6 it's much more different the the first one that you see is pretty much what you saw in icon 6 with the difference that in icon 6 you will select the muscle and you don't have more choices uh, of selecting specific parts of the muscle of the face like if I select the eyebrows right here it, it will select the entire eyebrow right okay but in icon 7 you do have different like three points for the eyebrow which is the inner corners of the eyebrow or the outer corners of the eyebrow and the middle one so you can select you have more flexibility okay in selecting okay there we go now for icon 6 what I will recommend for you to do a neutral face and and even for icon 7 and I'm gonna show you the reason why uh, I'm gonna ask you to do that okay the neutral face will bring the face as it was in the beginning okay let me see the first one right here is a neutral face as you can see I see six neutral face or normal face you see it's gonna zero out everything it's gonna bring it back to where it was in the beginning like if there's no animation okay 
the same you're going to do for icon 7 and please do so and you're going to see why when you start animating you'll see that it's very important for you to do that you have over here what is called the default key okay let's say that I do some animations let's just move the mouth and maybe the jaw and <laughs> I'm going to bring them all like that and maybe the corners and I'm going to do the symmetrical selection so that if I choose one side it's going to choose the other side uh, on the face well actually I don't want to do that maybe just one side and I'm gonna drag it right like that okay and I select these two something like that there you go okay we're gonna open the timeline to see what happened right here when I, we're gonna zoom in actually it's already there so that's a, that's a face and I can save that but let's say I'm gonna press the default key okay it's gonna zero everything out so I'm gonna undo this so that I it brings brings it back to the same face I used to have and then I have a slider tab right here to emphasize or exaggerate the kind of facial expression that I want okay I'm gonna leave it like that but that's with the default key okay now let's say okay I don't like when it does this uh, it's very sensitive okay let's move a little bit ahead like over here I want you to see what's gonna happen I already applied one motion uh, let's say that I want to just change the eyebrows uh, and I'm gonna use a symmetrical selection okay so that it selects the uh, okay come on it's gonna select the eyebrows and I'm gonna move the eyebrows up you see what happened right here it pretty much made a one bar okay that's the problem okay let's say that I wanted to do a sad face so I'm gonna select the lips and the eyebrows and I'm gonna bring them down okay and the lips zoom okay let's let's do that let's or I can I can press okay I can press the default key and it's gonna zero out everything and you see it created some markers right here or some keys and I'm gonna move a little bit forward and then I'm gonna do a sad expression uh, I can give it more time maybe or more frames something something like that maybe just to make the transition a little bit uh, smoother that's what that's my goal I'm gonna bring that down uh, it looks like if it was upset so let's try it that again there you go and I can go to the modify and select the mouth and let's make the mouth a little bit wider uh, okay I'm gonna open the mouth a little bit more okay <laughs> it looks like he's upset like that <laughs> okay no I don't want it to look upset right here mouth widen there you go well it looks upset so let's leave it as it is so we have the transition which is the neutral face but it doesn't really look like neutral because it's the transition is really fast there you go okay I want to show you this because of uh, this following reason okay I'm gonna bring it all the way to the beginning and I'm gonna apply a different kind of motion but this time I'm gonna apply a body motion so I'm gonna open the first tab which is a motion puppet 
and I'm going to select the root walk and I'm going to record a little bit of the root walk. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's good enough. I'm going to close that. And I have it by frame, so I'm going to change it to real time. Okay, I want to show you one thing. I applied a body motion, okay? Now, if I want to keep on um, creating new facial expressions, okay, it's going to be a little bit difficult. And that's the reason why I created the expression library right here. And uh, I just gave it 15, 15 frames for each expression that I created for the face key. And I used the different tabs for the face key, but you don't have that option in icon 6. The face key is very simple, very basic. You don't have any tabs right here. You don't have a slider to decrease or increase the kind of expression that you have for the face as you do in icon 7. Icon 7, you can see that you do have that. So that's much uh, better for you. Now I'm going to delete the entire bar because every time I create a new expression, uh, it's going to pretty much uh, make it just one bar. And I don't want that. I want to have more flexibility. So that's why I created that library right here for the face key. 15 frame, frames each. I can stretch it up a little bit more. Remember to select this uh, speed icon right here on the timeline. And then you can stretch it up a little bit more. Give it a little bit more frames. Apply a new face. In this case, I can apply the face. So that it goes back to no expression. And then I can apply another facial expression right here. Let's go all the way down to see what other expression I have like this one. There you go. And then I can stretch it up a little bit more. You see, I already have a body motion. And that's what I want to show you. When you are animating the character, you want to have that kind of flexibility in the face to do different kind of facial expressions. Which you don't have, really, if you use the face key over and over again, it's going to give you one single bar. Over here, I can actually move the bars that I created for each facial expression. I can move them around. I can bring this uh, forward and this backward, okay, so, and I can also increase or decrease the time, you know, that I want to give to that kind of expression. There you go. Uh, of course, it goes very, very fast, but you can give it more time if you want, just by, by stretching it up. You know, like that. So you can give it more time. There you go. You see? So it's going to take more time for that expression. There you go. You see? So you have more flexibility this way. And that's what I would recommend. And with this, I finish this tutorial. I hope it was very useful. And if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask me. If I can help you, I'll do so. Thank you.